welcome to pavitra laptop care so today's topic is three volts always i see how it works and what it does what are the voltage it gives so let us check see this is 11 generation schematic in this it's a pu301 see this ic indicates three volts ic in 11 generation and all three volts separate and five volts is separate for each voltage separate ic has used see this is very simple schematic circuit for 3 volts and 5 volts see this is the 5 volts one i am just going to explain only 3 volts always how it will generate hmm? see first 19 volts comes through the coil okay coil you know very well it allows dc and oppose ac here these capacitors as connected to ground these are the decoupling capacitors it means the uh, initially i explained the flow of electrons in a circuit will generate noise okay that unwanted noise will create when we give the supply or we will take the output supply see that is the reason at the output point also decoupling capacitors are more how much you give the load i mean uh, capacitors that much of noise we can reduce it so here maximum four capacitors as a parallel they have used because to reduce the noise if you keep the cap capacitor here so from year to year what are the noise will generate here so this capacitor will reduce first from year to year this one and next if any comes again this one this one this one like that purely <coughs> it rectifies the noise and gives the output here also same thing to load pure voltage has to go so that is the reason input side also decoupling capacitor has used are used see here one here one and again here then it connected to inputs see in 11 generation ic's are very easy to understand see pin number 2 3 4 5 are inputs right as i told in a complete circuit once input comes ground should be there right so pin number 8 7 and 18 are the grounds what else see maximum number of pins are covered here itself and next enable see the pin number 11 actually this is this is the only one pin is enable for this particular ic this enables the ic i mean it turns on the ic this particular enable okay this voltage how it has come see here this is coming through the voltage divider from 19 vb so initially we will get this voltage divider output to the pin number 11 means once the input v in circuit i mean v in circuit completes then ic will on through this enable signal even here second enable also has given so this is 3 volts 5 volts enable okay this will for switching purpose internally this particular ic will work for two uh, functions one is for pwm section and other one is some other functions so to select that particular section so this should be enable so if it is enable that pwm actually we want pwm so there is a reason this enable has given okay this enable is coming from see this circuit ec on <coughs> ec on coming through the 2.2k <coughs> register sorry see this one this output so both are connecting to this particular pin and here enable has started see here pin number 12 so see input over ground over enables are also over then immediately this ic as per the internal structure so this ic will produce the ldo output any other pins are there 
no only enable input has come so immediately the ldo 3 volts vlp will generate okay that 3 volts ldo is dec uh, is has given through the decoupling capacitor as per the circuit okay we must as to give please don't neglect these capacitors because i already explained you any output may uh, create a noise so to reduce the noise so these decoupling capacitors should be used okay next see once this output generates then what are the remaining pins this one over lx is pending pg pending not connected see 10 is not connected 16 also not connected but through the ldo it has given but it's not used this is not necessary okay ground also over not connected also over then remaining is once these inputs are okay and this output also given then internal driver will start okay actually the pin number <coughs> which is not connected so internally it will give the supply to the uh, high mosfet gate voltage so then once high mosfet gate has come <coughs> then function will start function in the sense high low high low concept will start and then it will create the what coil voltage for that that boost point has to be given through the capacitor and resistor resistor may not important but boost capacitor should be there okay this particular pin number one has given to the pin number 20 phase okay once phase and boost comes then this this is called lx see pin number 20 19 and 6 will give the output to this circuit what is the output plus 3 va wp this is the coil output it's very simple right see first input ground <coughs> next enable next radio once all are okay then bst and lx will generate right so it's very 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 simple to do the service latest generation laptops okay after that see this out and feedback has given this goes to internal comparator once it compares the particular voltage then again it will give the feedback to the input and same process will keep on running and it will give the voltage continuous voltage once these all inputs are okay one point i mean three volts always also okay three volts vlp also okay if there is no internally uh, mismatch is there then the power good will generate the power good is what is that outsource drain actually it's externally it will take the voltage and gives the output okay it's called outsource drain drain output that is named as spok okay this power good goes to some other pg it is connected to the 5 volts ic pg so I am talking about only the 3 volts always I see. And here is a question. Usually in all schematic the 3 volts always will generate once you connect the what? Once you plug the adapter. Once you connect the adapter immediately 3 volts always will produce. But in this, this particular schematic this always concept won't work this concept is only for previous generation laptops but in this particular schematic after pressing the power button it will generate you know how see i will explain this also see here is the enable that I told you it's a PWM or some other selection for switching purpose this enable has come right 
this enable is connected to where ec on and this one this particular ec on actually usually once you connect the power button uh, sorry once you plug the adapter immediately that io will start once this ldo voltage goes to the input for the ene i mean uh, io then it will ec on will start but here in this case it has connected to the output section means once you press the power button then only it will generate that is the logic here it has used so ec on will generate after pressing the power button <coughs> once it will generate after pressing the power button obviously this 3 volts always also <coughs> will generate after pressing the power button got my point so in this particular generation don't try the coil voltage as to give or it is completely dead don't think like that so logically you have to think okay first you check the schematic then you come to know this 3 volts always is not always what is it primary generated voltage okay this is the conclusion of 3 volts always section of 11th generation laptops thank you thank you very much